I'm not going to get into the details of the argument right now, but I will tell you about the student feeling. What's happening is yesterday was a great success. Today was a success, not so much though, I assume because it was Thursday and there's less students on Thursday. Also because it was just not as, I guess the momentum was going down a bit. However, we did succeed in having another protest in front of College Hall. We did close down many of the buildings and boycott many of the classes. All what's left right now is that we had a couple of fights within the students. So there's a bit of dismantling and diffusion. But I think they've come back together now and tomorrow if uh, things uh, because of, because things haven't changed now yet, it seems that AUB is being very stubborn. We were very non-violent yesterday. We were completely non-violent today. They still haven't listened to us. AUB has done this intentionally in the last week of college because they know that everyone has finals. Hence, what we propose is that if, if, if nothing happens today and then tomorrow, it will escalate and uh, we will do some. We'll take as we'll take any measure we need, uh, drastic measures even. To really show the AUB that we are we are concerned with this and we demand uh, that we get listened uh, to. So uh, I guess you'll know everything tomorrow and uh, hopefully we'll succeed. Change the discussion. كيف كيف دور دور المرأة فيها إنه عم نفرض حالنا فرض على كل دسكشن عم بتصير على كل قرار بده يصير بيتوقعوا إنه المرأة منا ما لها دخل بالسياسة ما لها دخل بالحركة الطلابية ما لها دخل بتقرير شيء بمصير بمصير العلم تبعها ولا الجامعة فعلى كل دسكشن عم بتصير بقلب هاي الحركة كلها عم نفرض حالنا فرض وعم نجرب نكون إنه موجودين أو حتى عم بيشوفونا يعني دايما عم بيكون كل ميتنج ما بيندعوا بنات كل جلسة حتى لو كان يتمنى رسمية لهذا القرار عم بيكون بس ممثلي الأحزاب اللي هي عادة بيكونوا شباب دور المرأة بتقرير مش بس باتباع قرارات اللي عم بتصير بالجامعة هو هو دور كثير عم يتاخذ منه وعم يعتبر انه ثانوي لانه هي مفروض ما تكون تفهم بالسياسه When yesterday we had our first convergence on main gate I think there were around 1500 students these are the estimates uh, estimates that we got And again today we had a sit in at college hall that had a lot of support from the students. Um, it was it was inspirational to see that AUB students were being mobilized. Um, I think for the first time in a long time. I mean, this campus has a history, a long and very rich history of activism, um, but it's something that has been, I think, repressed by the administration um, in recent years. So I was really happy to see that something is mobilizing the students, the students are getting out there and being active and voicing their opinions despite uh, otherwise what I consider to be an atmosphere of kind of repression of political, you know, definitely politics but also freedom of thought, um, critical analysis kind of thing. So I was inspired by that today. Um, what I think is very important is for us in this movement to put it in a larger framework and a larger context of issues of, of higher education in Lebanon nationally, asking from the administration foremost is clarity, greater clarity and transparency um, as to where our money is going, how it's being spent, and also in the financial aid process there needs to be much, uh, much more transparency. Um, so these are kind of, these are bigger AUB issues that we need to look at. What I think is more important for us to look at is um, Framing it greater, uh, framing it within a greater uh, national context. So I think it's very important that we as students who are a part of this movement frame it as a movement for greater accessibility, equality, and affordability of higher, of good quality higher education for all Lebanese, regardless of social economic status. Um, I think it's very important that we frame it in these terms. I think also it's important that we look at where the money that we're raising and paying higher fees for is going. We want to see it going to 
a more transparent financial aid process that gives financial aid on a need base to students of, uh, from low-income communities. Um, we want to see it going to uh, living wages and better benefits for faculty, for employees, for uh, employees of the university, for staff. Um, so I think as long as we frame it in, in sort of larger context of equality um, of higher education and accessibility and affordability for higher education, I think then we'll really be getting somewhere with this event.